بسم الله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. For today's example, we go to the 16th chapter of the Quran, Surah Al-Nahl, the chapter of the bee, in which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talks about a lot of natural examples and the creation of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala all around us. But particularly where we're going to travel to is actually the 92nd verse of the surah, in which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives a very particular example because it has to do with the human condition and human tendencies. In which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wala takuna kallati." Don't be like the one. نَقَدَتْ غَزْلَهَا مِنْ بَعْدِ قُوَّةٍ Who, after strength, untwists her yarn, or untwists her creation. Um, كَاثًا Into twisted strands. And what this is really putting forward is, there are the, the senselessness of someone who maybe worked for a whole day, a whole week, a whole month, and sometimes even years, to build غَزَل. A ghazal would be, it's actually where the English word gazelle comes from because what is it? It's an exquisite creature that's beautiful to look at it's, and also just very uh, functional. That there is maybe someone who is doing crochet, maybe sewing something, and they made a beautiful, strong creation, whether that be a bag, a blanket, um, a rug. And right after they made it and it's at its strongest, they just unraveled the whole thing. And you'd look at them and say, why would you do that? What was all that wasted effort for? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually captures, this is unfortunately a situation that human beings find themselves in quite regularly, where there will be those of us who maybe in the month of Ramadan established a relationship with the Quran that we've never had before. We started giving more charity than we ever gave. We started not committing sins that we typically commit outside of the month of Ramadan. And you really build yourself into this beautiful, exquisite creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then as soon as the month ends, don't untwist yourself. Don't completely let that go to waste. And then you, you're left with nothing to show as a result of it. If anything, it was something you were making for a purpose. And that purpose was going to actually serve you outside of that time or outside of its actual creation. The same thing could be said when sometimes um, we have the uh, opportunity to be called to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we go for Umrah or Hajj. And you spend a week, two weeks in complete worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gaining a relationship that is so profound. And then when you come back, it's like you unraveled it completely. What was the point of any of that? And Allah says, watch out. That doing that, going in through these phases, is as problematic as the person who what sews something and then completely unravels it. What do you sew something for? So that you can look at it, you can appreciate its beauty, so that you can use it. Use it when that time actually comes. Don't just unravel it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those that in our moments of action, in our moments of motivation, that we build something that actually lasts and serve us outside rather than being in the situation that we just unravel any progress we make with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.